What's going on, you guys? We have a very special episode of the Single Guy Channel today. We have two special guests. We have Mr. Dave Parada and David, how to beast. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of you guys know these people already, so it's a pleasure to have them on the program right now. What we're going to do is we're going to cover several different text messages, okay? So the first text message that we're going to cover is something that I've seen a lot of my students, and I'm sure Dave and you, David, as well, have seen guys make these kinds of messages before. This is kind of like the bad version of it. So we're going to show you the bad version of what this guy sent, and then we're going to show you a better version of what he could have sent and probably gotten a better reaction. So. Let's delve right into the text messages. You ready, guys? Let's go. All right, cool. So here's the simple example. Basically, he got this girl's number, for, or not number, but uh, he matched with her off of a dating app. And so he starts out pretty freaking boring. So um, there's not too much wrong I see at the beginning, but he just basically starts with, hey. And then she responds with, hey, exclamation mark. And then he's like, what's up? And then she's like, nothing much. How are you? Question mark. And he says, I'm chilling. So what do we think of this so far? You gotta, this girl seems like pretty excited to talk to you, but you're not like making it easy, right? You want to make it easy, like remove the friction of her having to think of the next thing to say because a lot of people are just going to get uncomfortable yeah. and just stop replying. Yeah, absolutely. So I call this guy the Mr. Cool Guy. Basically, he's been too cool for school and you're going to see how it gets a little worse and worse as time goes on, but I think he's exactly right. So she, he's like, I'm chilling. She's like, haha, okay. It's like, you know. How do you respond to that? She basically is saying the best thing. And he goes immediately into it. He goes, so you want to send me that phone number? Question mark. <laughs> and she responds with, um, can we talk here a little bit here first? I just want to get to know you more. And then afterwards she says, yeah, I'm not trying to waste time. Either you want this or you don't. And then she says, okay, I'm not sure if I do. And then he ends with cool. And that's the end of the text message. <laughs> Dude, there's so, so, nothing after yeah, that. Yeah, man. So a lot of problems with that conversation. First, like you've given her no substance at all. It's all right to go for the number after a couple texts, right. but you got to like try to show off a little bit of your personality, like a little something in there, mm -hmm. so she knows, like, all right, this guy ain't a freak, ain't a weirdo. He at least has like a little bit of social intelligence. Mm -hmm. Here, he didn't do any of that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he's like I said, he's just trying to be the Mr. Cool Man, trying to say the most cool alpha thing, and he's not doing anything to build a connection with this woman. Yeah, sending those messages on a dating app doesn't make you like cool alpha. It's <laughs> it's uh, you're just gonna waste your time, man. Like the girls aren't they're not gonna feel comfortable meeting up with you just from a quick conversation on a dating app. Right, right. And so there's a few things. I mean, he asked for the number really quickly. I actually think that's okay, but he just didn't have any reason for her to give her number out to him. Like, why would a girl give her number out to some guy who's just being, like, too cool for school and being, like, kind of a dick, honestly? Yeah. Like, there's just no reason to, you know? Well, I've been in the reverse of this, and a lot of y'all have probably been in the reverse of this where you're talking to a girl, and it's like, you're, like, banging your head against the wall. Like, <laughs> man, I'm trying to, like, pull teeth here. <laughs> yeah, and then exactly. you're like, if I get on a date with this girl, a lot of times you do get on a date with a girl, and it's, like, the same thing. You're like, mm -hmm. man, it's a fucking girl. Like, but it's the same thing. A girl's not going to be want to hang out with you if this is it's just boring. Yeah. Yeah. Other than him being cold, like he's not showing any of his personality, he's not giving her anything to work with, and there's no chance that anything can actually happen from this. So I see a lot of guys sending this message, and I think it comes from a little bit of insecurity. You know, they don't want to show their personality because they're afraid the girl's going to reject them, and at least, you know, maybe he says it like this, and at least he feels like he looks cool or looks, I don't know, whatever, looks like a badass after he's done it. Um, and I've seen a lot of guys text this and when they look at, they, they send me the message and they're like, Lloyd, why didn't she respond? And I'm like, dude, you literally just wrote cool. <laughs> what do you want her to say to that, bro? Like, <laughs> there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, you have to lead the conversation as a guy. If you don't do that, don't expect her to do it for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, if, you have a, if you have a confident personality, you're going to put yourself out there a little bit. And this guy has done none of that and um, there's no surprise that she had. You know, talked to her, talked to her in the way that she did. She was actually being really friendly at the beginning. Like, I think this girl actually really liked him, and you know, he kind of wasted that opportunity. All right, so let's look at a better version. Okay, very similar situation. This person matched with this girl on a dating app, uh, and so the first message that he sends is, "I'm going to take a wild guess and say that your third picture was at Coachella." She goes, "Not quite. It was at this festival called Electric Forest." And then he says, haha, I've heard of that one before. Are you also getting withdrawals from not being able to festival anymore? And she says, oh my God, yes. I want to be at EDC so badly this year. 
So already, how does this sound so far in comparison to the uh, last set yeah. of messages that we read? I was like, he found a common interest and Absolutely. he, you know, used that to like empathize with her and do mm-hmm. this, but something that they're both passionate about. I, I could care less about festivals myself, mm-hmm. but that's a powerful thing to do with anyone. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter what you start with, but I always like to comment on something with your profile, you know, and he's putting himself out there too by saying, hey, you know, like I've heard of Coachella or I've heard of Electric Forest and stuff like that. He's actually giving them something to talk about, whereas before the guy was giving them pretty much nothing. What do you think, Dave? Nah, he really spiced it up. Like he, like, like B said, he really empathized. He made it, he made it easy for her to respond. And now they, she has a connection. She knows they both like festivals. Yeah. This could go somewhere. Exactly. And so a lot of people might say, oh, well, what if I can't see a connection? What if I haven't been to Coachella? So there's three ways to make a connection. Number one is if you've had a shared experience. Number two is if you've known someone who's had that shared experience, like maybe a friend did that. So in this case, I said, oh, I've never been to that, but I've had friends that have gone. Uh, And then the last way is just to say, hey, listen, I've never heard anything about that. Would love to learn more. Like, please tell me more about it. So that's three ways that you can make a connection, regardless of whether you've actually done the thing that they've done or not. Okay. So she says... Okay. So an example of the last thing would be like, yeah, because I'm not someone who's gone to festivals, but if I saw a girl, it, I might not be super attracted to like a crazy festival girl. Yeah, Let's yeah, say yeah. I was like, all right, she seems cool. Some of her other photos are cool. Yeah. I could be like, uh, wow, that, that, that third photo looks intense. Like you a big festival girl, huh? And then now, and then she might be like, yeah, like I'm so obsessed. I love him. How about you? And I'd be like, I've never gone. Like, but then you could still ask a follow up question. Like, oh, like, well, like, w- like, why, why do you enjoy them so much? Exactly, exactly. What do you like about him, yeah. Exactly. It gives her the opportunity to kind of show you something, uh, learn more about her, and you're not doing it in a way that's like you're trying to pretend like you already know what she's talking about, which a lot of guys do, and it gets them into a lot of trouble. <laughs> okay, cool. So she says, like I said, oh my god, yes, I want to be at EDC so badly this year. I have a little sad face, and then I go, me too, that's why my friends and I go to some of these smaller silent discos. Do you know what those are? Question mark. And she says, I've never been to one, but I would love to go. And you say, ha ha, nice. Yes, they are super fun. I'd love to see you there sometime. And she goes, that sounds nice, smiley face. So it's going pretty well. And then he says, yeah, you'd have a lot of fun. By the way, I don't get on here much. Do you mind if we text? And then she goes, I suppose. And then gets the smiley face and then gives all of the, uh, uh, the numbers after that. Yeah, so I was going to say, like, like, like that, that's a, it's a solid, like, wrap-up in terms of, like, like how, how he led into it. But I think maybe what Beast is going to say, too, because it's <laughs> it, it is, it is probably that you, you might have been able to even lead that a little bit better, mm-hmm. right? Instead of, like, yeah, you'd have a lot of fun, but, but why don't we start with the drink to make sure if you're cool or something like that first to kind right. of, like, lead things in, into some, something that, like tangible. Because they're not probably going to go to a silent disco for the first day, right? Uh, probably not. Uh, <laughs> but what I liked about it, though, was he was kind of testing the waters. He was saying, I'd love to see you there sometime. Not organizing a date, no definite plans. He's just seeing if she's, like, not open like a to the idea future projection. of, of yeah, doing yeah, something yeah. like that in the future. Their first date probably isn't going to be a silent yeah. disco. It's probably just going to be something a lot more casual, getting a cup of coffee, getting a drink, even just going for a walk through the park. It would have been even better. I would recommend the more casual things, but he's testing the waters and seeing if she's, like, interested to possibly do that in the future. Yeah, he probably could have skipped the last three messages and just said, uh, you seem really cool, do you want to hang out sometime? And almost definitely she would have given him the phone number. Yeah. And it might have happened quicker. But if anything, this is an example that because he was empathizing and sending easy to reply to text messages that were showing interest in her, like, even though he didn't take the super, like, alpha, like, leading approach, yeah. it, it still worked. Yeah, absolutely. And so, like, even though there was some stuff that this guy could have improved, I thought it was miles better than the first one that we saw just because, you know, he's actually showing his personality. He's actually trying to find common interests, you know, and he's leading it somewhere. Now, there's a reason for them to talk in the future. You know, maybe she, he can send her the address of the next silent disco that's happening, or maybe they can talk about other festivals that they like to go to. Before, the other guy had no reason, no point, no connection, so it's not a surprise that she didn't want to give that phone number up. Well, I think it's kind of an interesting point. I don't think anyone loves using dating apps or loves the idea of using dating apps. Maybe like the dopamine hit you get from the validation and the matches yeah. like you yeah. do enjoy. But if you take something that people don't already love that they have to do and then you make it even harder by sending like the most just like stale text messages. Yeah. It, the, it's not gonna work. You're already making. You're already making. A, you're already making a bad situation even worse. Yeah. You know, like have some fun with it. Like everyone, like like you said, most girls hate them too. Um, and my principle is like I'm trying to get her off the dating app as quickly as possible. But there's a good way about doing it, and there's a not so good way about doing it. 
Cool. All right, you guys. Well, if you got a lot out of this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to Dave's and How to Be. So I'm sure you guys have seen some of them already. Um, but they break down a lot of this stuff too. They talk a lot about confidence, working out, and how to be a better man in general. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. And we'll see you soon. Good luck out there.